Okay. How to measure the speed of light. Using this chocolate bar and this plate. Oh dear. Are you aware that it's not rotating? Just that great length. From the middle of that one to the middle of that one, exactly six centimetres. Yes? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. You might as well stop the video. It's just going to be maths after this. But that's the crucial point. Right. Explain. Okay. Come with me. Can I eat that? No. This is just Martin trying to find some paper. Okay, with a wave. Okay, so the velocity of the wave, so the speed of light, is equal to the frequency to, uh, times by the wavelength. Okay, so we've just measured that. This chocolate bar is in the microwave. This is the wavelength. Mm. So this point to this point is exactly half a wavelength. And that was six oh. centimetres. So the full that wavelength is 12 centimetres, or... 0.12 meters. Okay, so the wavelength is 0.12 meters times by the frequency. If you look on the back of the microwave, is 2.4 gigahertz, which is the same as 2 billion 450 million hertz. You can times this by the freq by the <clears throat> yeah, wavelength, which is 0.12 meters, double the 6 centimeters by 0.12 meters, you get 2.94 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, which is the speed of light. Something very clever physicists spent half a century trying to calculate. They probably didn't have microwaves back then though. Yeah, they could have used the same method.